Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Basement. Thank you for joining me today, Monday, January 24th, 2022. What a great day we're having. Uh, the NASDAQ's down, seems like almost 5%. Um, as I'm filming this, the GDXJ, which most of, of us, you, are interested in, that's the Junior Gold Mining Index. Heck, it's only down, I think, roughly 5%. Uh, but something interesting is going on. I don't know if you've noticed this. The price of gold is still $1,836 per ounce. Actually, I think up a little bit from where it closed on Friday. Um, I made some previous videos where I predicted that, 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 this, that, whatever, that would be the case. That possibly gold may regain its safe haven. Uh, everybody was saying that when the markets crashed, the price of gold was going to crash. Uh, what I got wrong was um, I'm heavily invested in the miners, and they have been just kind of pummeled here the last few days, unfortunately. Um, but here's some thoughts I have that and why what kind of prompted me to make this video. And I made a video about this too, or I've mentioned it in my videos in the past. I was looking on Twitter and reading some different stats and comments, and somewhere I saw that this correction, I guess the um, the Russell 2000, the small cap index, is down now over 20%, so officially in bear market territory, and that this is one of the fastest, um, oh, you know, I guess when you measure the amount of time from where it was at its high, to where it is now down greater than 20 percent that that this occurrence is like one of the fastest in history and i've said this and i will i still believe this that things are going to happen on a much much quicker basis i've mentioned that several times and and what i mean by that is because of all of the plethora of screwed up stuff going on, right? The money printing, the debt, the just all that stuff, you know, that's so screwed up right now. And the Fed being so far kind of boxed into a corner and that all this debt kind of amplifies everything, that things are going to happen more quickly. I tried to beat that home. And that's just my idea, my philosophy, that things are going to happen more quickly. And there's a lot more uncertainty and I think that that will be, will continue to be bullish for gold, meaning the markets are gonna correct quickly, the markets are gonna rebound more quickly, the Fed's gonna have to react more quickly because things are happening on a much more faster basis, you know? I don't know, like when a uh, ship sinks, like that movie, I don't know what I'm talking about, but that movie Titanic, you know, like the ship kind of sinks kind of slowly at first, but then when it really sinks, it's like, poof, it goes, you know, and we're getting, <laughs> the ship feels like it's been sinking for a while, and we may be approaching that period where things are going to really start to happen quickly, like an old car, right? It does good, does good, do a couple small repairs, and then it just kind of goes to shit, or maybe even like, well, anyway, you get my point. Um, the other thought I had, I'll share this with you if you've, if you've tortured yourself this long to stay on this video, uh, regarding gold and silver and the gold and silver equities. Um, I think there's, I won't say a perfect storm, but a maybe a confluence of potential positive factors for the gold and silver mining equities that could play out. Number one, a lot of the speculators, right? The crypto bros and the meme stock bros, right? Now that they're getting their arses handed to them, maybe they'll start to look more toward the gold and silver mining stocks, which have traditionally performed more as speculations, right? It's not unusual to have some of those stocks go up 10 times in value. Now, wouldn't that be nice, especially on a day like today? Um, we're also going to have the safety crowd, right? Like, you know, these negative re interest rates, if, if rates, if they can't get inflation under control, you know, gonna, people that were in the market and are going to, we're going to get more, and, that, and that's been demonstrated, there's articles all over today that last week the GLD had one of the biggest inflows of all time. The GLD is the ETF that tracks physical gold, so that's already kind of started. 
and just the general people who are interested are going to want to move into real assets more for the price of physical gold um, but we may see more and more people that are like you know what I give up I don't want to put my money in the bank I don't want to put it in the stock market I don't want to buy a house I'm gonna buy something real though so I'll buy some real gold or real silver I don't know just my thoughts um, certainly a painful day for anyone invested in gold and silver mining equities. Most of mine are down between three and a half and eight uh, percent. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, especially after last Wednesday when they were all up ten percent. Um, now back underwater relative to uh, where we started early next, uh, early last week. But. Who knows, you know, the worm can turn, and I think things are going to happen more quickly as we move forward. I uh, appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being here on this day of pain in the basement, but we'll get through this. And, you know, one thing that we can be really, I mean, silver's kind of having a bad day, no doubt about it. But gold is so far hanging in there, and that's, uh, hey, we'll take it, right? All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you are doing well, and I'll talk to you soon.